Hello guys, welcome to RK Tutors. In this video, we'll take a look at how to create double-sided window components that cut through both sides of the wall in SketchUp. So let's begin. First, let's delete this component and create a wall using the rectangle tool. I'll keep its length 5 meters and thickness 0.2 meters or 200 millimeters. Press enter. And the height, let's say 4 meters. So from here we can use tape tool to add some guidelines. I'll set it at 1 meter and same from the other side. Now let's try and make a window component. To do that I'll use this rectangle snapping on this intersection point of let's say 1.5 by 1.5 meters. Using the push tool when we intrude this face. 2.2 meters we have this void and let's try to make this into a component by selecting all these faces on all four corners right click and click on make component and from here we can select glue to any surface so no matter it's vertical surface or horizontal it will stick to that surface and enable cut opening that way this component will create this opening or void into the surface and also enable replace selection with component and click on set component axis and left click on this edge to the other corner and I'll set the green axis to this upper corner so that way component plane is actually parallel to this wall and click on create now that we have created this component let's see how it works so go to component options so here we have this component and see how it snaps with this wall so when i click on it you see it does create this void but only on one side and on the other side it does not actually create any opening so we need a component that actually cuts through both sides of the wall we can make that component by making few changes. So first of all, I'll delete this and also delete the component from here. Press OK and recreate this wall or I'll simply just erase these edges so that we are left with the full face. And again, make these guidelines using the tape tool on these both sides. And create a rectangle snapping from the intersection again I'm keeping its length and width 1.5 meters and this time I'll push this face or intrude this only to 0.1 meters or 100 millimeters so that it doesn't actually cut through this wall now we have this face that will actually work as a window glass so you can also apply any material to this. I'll go to glass materials and let's apply this material. Maybe I'll turn it gray. Now having this face selected, right click on it and select the connected faces. So in selection made, we have all these four faces around this window and right click, click on make component, set the component axis. So that is parallel to the window glass face and in alignment glue to any surfaces selected, cut opening is enabled and also enable the replace selection with component and click on create. So now we have created this half component for this window. Let's see how it works. First I'll delete this. Go to components. So this is our component. And I'll snap it to this wall. Move it to the intersection. It works good enough but we are still having only the half component for the window. So to fix that, what we can do is make guidelines on the other side of the wall. 
leaving the distance 1 meters and snap one of these components on the other side. Snap it to the intersection. So now we are having this same component on both of these sides of the wall and now to make it into a one component select both of them right click and click on make component so I'll name it window with the alignment glue to any enabling the cut opening option and also setting the component axis for this face again parallel to the window and at last replace the selection with component is enabled and click on create now you see the window component that was previously here is now sort of hidden or under this face having it still selected I can delete it hitting delete and from the component folder I have this new component called window and see when I applied this to the wall and right click and explode it it cuts through this wall so I know a little bit of work goes into making this component but it actually does the job so click on the component and select the wall face click on here right click and explode this is one way to make this double sided window component that actually cuts through both sides of the wall and you can add more details to this component Maybe I'll change this color a little bit. You can also add the handle or the frame. And to make the frame, I'll just offset this by, let's say, 0 0.05 meters. And apply a wooden texture to this. Maybe I'll go with this texture. And extrude it to finish the frame. So that way you can make more changes and add more details to this component. For more SketchUp tips and tricks, check out the SketchUp tutorials from the playlist on our channel. So if you like this tutorial, make sure you click on the like button, subscribe to our channel and press on the bell icon for all the latest updates. Thank you.